Some of the biggest offenders in illegal handicap parking are package and food delivery drivers like Domino's, FedEx, the USPS, and UPS. And in fact, many of them actually think the laws don't apply to them. Welcome back into the channel, parking fans. Thanks for being here on a Saturday, June 15th, a weekend. Happy weekend to everybody. And that is a huge problem in the world of illegal parking, whether it's the fire lane up front or in the handicapped spots. I see it all the time around here. It's delivery drivers like Jimmy John's and Domino's and your subs and pizzas and Chinese, and also your package delivery drivers like USPS, Amazon, UPS, etc. They all park in every spot they can find, and they literally think that it's okay. They think, oh, I'm just dropping a package. I'm just going to be a minute. I'm just going to park in this handicap spot or emergency fire lane parking and everything's cool. They think it doesn't apply to them. And there's a great channel called Totally Normal. He's a disabled American out of Portland, Oregon here in the United States. And he covers some of this stuff. He has an amazing channel. Go give him credit. Check it out down below. Look at this video he did all about disabled parking and delivery drivers on his channel. Make sure you subscribe to him and follow him. Awesome channel. I watch a lot of his videos. Let's jump into it and see how he covered this huge problem for the handicapped community. Well, I was on the news again. I mentioned it probably a week or so ago. One of the local news channels around here has been doing an investigative report on disabled parking and commercial vehicles or delivery vehicles parking in disabled spaces. One of the guys that works for a news channel here came out and talked to me, did a quick little interview, and uh, I've got the video here, so I'll go ahead and play it. Busted one after another. A KGW investigation found dozens of delivery trucks and commercial vehicles parked in disabled spots. They're clearly marked. Look, here's FedEx next to a blue sign. This UPS truck parked right on top of the pavement marking. We also found construction companies, maintenance, and more all parked illegally. This delivery driver from Jimmy John's could have parked in an open spot, but instead... Excuse me. You realize where you parked? You parked in a handicapped spot. That essentially is saying, look, you know, I know this is a spot for someone else, you know, for disabled people, but I'm going to be a minute so they can just wait. Dan Payton brought this issue to our attention after witnessing one driver after another parked illegally. I started to realize uh, this is an issue, you know, for sure. The Tigered man snapped photos of delivery trucks, Domino's Pizza, even private security parked where they shouldn't be. He even confronted one driver while recording with his cell phone. Why does everyone just park in the disabled spots? In many places, including downtown Portland, parking is at a premium. But that doesn't mean delivery drivers can use one of these spots reserved for disabled or wheelchair access. You know, it's not their spot. It's, it's designated for people who actually need it. Nicole Sharon, right. disability equity you coordinator know, for the city of Portland, explains these parking spots are strategically positioned in places more convenient for people with disabilities. They need them. So if I have a cardiac issue and I can only walk so many feet, there's a spot close to the front entrance of, say, City Hall. But if a delivery truck is there, what am I going to do? Do I just keep circling the block until they go? A review of parking tickets shows last year in Portland, 1,800 drivers were cited for illegally parking in a disabled spot. Of those, 31 were commercial vehicles, and five of the tickets went to people driving government vehicles, including the city of Portland and Multnomah County. I mean, I think there is some ignorance and, you know, laziness. The delivery drivers we encountered seemed oblivious to the law. It's clear, unless you have a disability placard on your vehicle, you can't park here. Is this your truck right here? Yeah. You realize you're parked in a disabled spot? Yes. You realize that's illegal? Uh. I didn't know that. Didn't know it's illegal? No. The fine is $165 for parking illegally in a disabled spot. There's no warnings. There's no walking the, uh, the other way or overlooking it. That is the head problem. of parking enforcement for the city of Portland explains where... officers have to witness the violation. Complaints or photos aren't enough to issue a ticket. State law requires that we are physically there, we see the violation, and then we issue the citation to that vehicle. If you see a delivery driver parked in a disabled spot, you can call parking enforcement or gently remind the driver that parking spot isn't theirs, not even for a minute or two. 
We found another issue is delivery trucks blocking curb cutouts. You know those ramps on the corners? Mm -hmm. Really important for people who use wheelchairs. That's really their only access to the sidewalk. And when those are blocked, it's tough. So did you hear from any of these companies at all? We did. We reached out to everybody that was identifiable in that story. A lot of them did reply by email and said, listen, this is against company policy. We tell our drivers to follow the law. Hopefully, they'll uh, listen to them at this point. Fewer drivers probably doing it now after we hope so. called Kyle. Well, if you have a story for Kyle, you can call Kyle. Yeah, the companies obviously don't want to look bad. FedEx, Jimmy John's, Pizza Hut, Delivery, whatever, Domino's. They don't want to look bad. They don't want their drivers doing this. This is solely wholly on the drivers. They know that guy's, oh, I don't know, I can't park in the handicap. Of course he knows that. He got caught, no other answer, just being lazy. There is always a consensus on this channel, at least in my comment section, that, uh, you know, I've had a lot of ignorant people who are like, oh, he's just doing a job. He's delivering Coke or delivering food. Or, you know, I did a video on the big giant Pepsi truck, I think it was, that was parked in the, the emergency lane that was unloading Pepsis for like 30 minutes while I was there in another store. I went in, I came out, I'd been in like a half an hour. And people were actually commenting like, he's doing a hard day's work. You should try it, blah, 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 blah. First of all, guys, I run three businesses. And second of all, it doesn't matter what your job is. That is not for you. And they're like, well, what do you want him to do? Well, he can go out back. A lot of these um, shopping centers and, and store drop-offs have an out back loading and unloading dock or a designated area. Or they can park in the parking lot in the back of the parking lot where they can take up the, you know, where away from where all the normal parking happens. And then they'll just have to load it onto their hand carts and walk it into the store. I know it's longer and it takes a while, but... That's job, that's life, that's a work. You can't inconvenience the handicap or block emergency exits and entrances and emergency access for vehicles because you don't wanna do a job that you signed up to do that is your job just because it takes a few extra minutes or a few extra steps or hard work. It sucks, hey, I'm with you, that's, that sucks, but you can't do it. So with that, I'll leave the video in the comments to all of you. Make sure you do take a second to hit that like button. It helps that YouTube algorithm makes me uh, know that you guys are loving what we're doing here. Appreciate it. And uh, subscribing to the channel so you can come back and watch future videos. There's a lot of playlists. If you click on my video playlist, there's a ton of different categories. You can watch all of those different ones like handicapped and emergency parking and police illegal parking. Just go check those out for a minute. You'll enjoy some of them. And thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you next time.